Hello! In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can squash all your credit and debit cards into one card. That sounds a bit weird, and it is a bit weird, but I'll explain it all after I've said ROLL TITLES! <laughs> So today's video is all about this, and this is the Curve Card. Now you might be looking at it thinking, that's just a MasterCard. Well it is, but also it isn't. It's a bit difficult to explain, but I'll try. Basically, Curve is a card that can be any other credit or debit card. Now I've been using Curve for many years, I actually used it when it was in beta, and back then it was a bit wonky, shall we say? Um, quite often I'd get the card declined for no apparent reason but they've been going for a long time now and those kind of bugs are ironed out so it's a really competent and excellent card to have in your wallet and um, I thought what I would do is show you how it works and because you know you're a special person because you watch this channel if you use the code on the screen here and go to that URL you can actually get a curve card of your very own and get five pounds free to spend however you like you could buy a cake you could buy coffee you could buy a coffee and a cake you can do what the hell you like with that magical five pounds why not go crazy so what I'll do now is I'll show you the curve app in action uh, so let me just make it so you can see my screen there you go, there it is, awesome. Right, okay, so let's go into the Curve app. Uh, I've got to put in my passcode. Didn't see that, did you? I hope not. Cool, so we're in the Curve app. And at the moment, I've added uh, two of my cards that I normally have in my wallet. So there is my Lloyds Bank card, and there is a Capital One card. So at the moment, if I go into a shop and use my Curve card, it's actually pretending to be my Lloyds card. But if I don't want it to be that Lloyds card, I can just go into the app, swipe over to another card, tap on it, and boom. Just like that, this Curve card has become a credit card. And then if I wanna go spend some money out of my bank account, another shop, I just move over, tap, boom. It's back to being my Lloyds card, and it's it's that simple. So you could literally go in one shop, spend on this card, and it could be your bank card, and then come out of the shop, swipe over, change the card, boom, this is your credit card. It's, it's that simple, and it's, it's just mad. And also, not all bank apps do this, but you get spend notifications as well. So when your money is spent, you get a notification. Oh, if you're enjoying this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you're not, give it a thumbs down. It doesn't matter either way. It's all interaction, baby. And also, it's good for security because you don't have to give out your actual card numbers. You can just use your curve card number and that will be whatever card you choose it to be. And you can even disable the curve card completely so no money will come out of it. So if you lose it, or say you just use it for online purchases and you don't want it used at any other point in time, you can just turn the card off essentially and no money will come out. It's really cool. So how do you add a card to Curve? It's really simple. So uh, got my NatWest card there. It's just uh, arrived in the post. So I'm gonna add it to this app. So we'll just say continue and then we can just scan it. We are checking your card. Boom, my card has been successfully added. It's exciting, isn't it? There we go, my card is verified. So now, my NatWest card is linked to my Curb account. And so if I tap on it, this card is now this card. Now there is something really cool with how this works. Because obviously with switching between your cards, there's a possibility if you're a bit daft, you could put it on the wrong card. But that's not a problem because this actually has time travel Within 14 days of the transaction happening, and if it's less than a thousand pounds, you can move the transaction from one card to another card. So for example, this Starbucks payment here, um, 
oh, I, I, I wanted to put that on my credit card for some inexplicable reason. We can just go back in time and uh, sling it on over to my credit card. Do you want to go back in time with this card? You can only do this once for each purchase. That's very interesting to tell you. Boom, there you go. It's, it's moved over. It is now on the other card. So my Lloyd's TSB card will be refunded for that amount and my MasterCard will be debited for that amount, just like that. And also this is a good uh, way to show you something else within the app. You can add a note. So for example, you know, maybe if you're using your card for work purposes, you could add a note saying coffee with client and then you can actually uh, take a picture of the receipt as well and mark it as a business purchase. And uh, you can also send an email receipt to yourself. So uh, I'm going to do that. So yeah, once that's all gone through, that transaction will disappear off my Lloyd's card and go onto my credit card. It's that, it's that simple. Now also over here, you have got a Curve Cash card. Now, if you sign up with the link there, that is where your five pounds will go. And I think there's some other terms and conditions. I think you've got to spend at least 20 pounds before you get your five pounds or something like that. Um, so yeah, you can then tap on that and it becomes your Curve Cash card. Now, obviously I've only got one pound on my Curve Cash card. So, you know, I can't use very much for that at the moment, but that leads me into another thing. Now you can have the bog standard curve card like I have, or you can uh, upgrade your account. So let's go to upgrade your plan. So at the moment, I've got the bog standard plan, which doesn't have a monthly charge, but you can upgrade your account and have a monthly charge taken, but you get features and benefits. So if you go for the Curve Black, which is $9.99 a month, you can get 1% cash back at three retailers of your choice for an unlimited amount of time. So if you spend lots of money at Amazon or Tesco or BP or whatever, you can say, I use these ones the most and you'll get 1% cash back on all your purchases using your Curve card. That's, that's really cool. So that cash back that you earn will go straight onto your Curve cash card so yeah, it will build up and build up and build up. So 1% one, 1 isn't much, but it's better than a kick in the face, isn't it? You get fair exchange rates on your card as well, so you can use this for foreign transactions. You can withdraw up to 400 pounds a month from foreign ATM machines. You get travel insurance, you get priority support, and you get curve fronted. Now this is cool. If you're self-employed like me and you have to pay taxes, you can't pay with a credit card. They don't let you, unless it's a business credit card. Also, you can't pay credit card bills with a credit card, but you can use Curve Fronted and basically pretend your Curve card isn't a credit card and it will look to those establishments that it's an actual debit card. So if you want to pay your tax bill with your credit card, you can, it's fine. But on this, on this one, they will charge you a 1.5% fee, so bear that in mind. So that's a Curve Black account, which is $9.99 a month. You can go for the Curve Metal accounts, Oh yeah, and they come in red, rose gold, and blue steel. And those come with 10 features for $14.99 a month. So you get a metal card, which is very fancy. You get 1% cash back on six retailers. So you can choose six retailers that you spend the most money on and get cash back every time you spend there on your Curve card. And then um, you get the fair FX rates. You get up to 600 pounds from foreign ATM machines. You get mobile phone insurance as well. You get access to airport lounges. You get no fee on your curve fronted. So you could pay your credit card or tax bill with a credit card and there's no fee on that, which is really cool. And you get discounted access to airport lounges. And there's also priority support for you as well. So there's, you know, if you're willing to spend $14.99 a month, it kind of prob might pay for it itself, depending on how much you spend at retailers to get 1% back. I don't know. I'm very tempted to sign up for a metal card just because I like them and they're quite fancy. And as I said, in the account screen, you can lock your card. So you just press that and there you go. Your card is locked. 
so it can't be used. So that's handy if you, as I said, if you want to use it just for online purchases that has access to all your different cards, you can just lock it and once you unlock it when you want to use it and then lock it back up again and it's secure. No one's taking your money. It's smart. I really like that. And yeah, all your transactions that you make on your Curve card are listed under each card. So uh, yeah, I seem to buy a lot of coffee and shop at Sainsbury's and the co-op if you follow me on Instagram. You know that anyway. And also you can add loyalty cards as well. So you can scan them into the app and uh, have all your loyalty cards to hand. Obviously your Curve card does not become a loyalty card. You can't just wave that at someone to make it your Nectar card. Anyway, that's, that's the app in a nutshell. Basically you can add all your cards to it and you can switch to whatever card you want your Curve card to be. Amazing. Now something that's really cool about your Curve card, you can add it to Apple Pay or Google Pay or Google Wallet or whatever the hell it's called at the moment. So if your bank does not support Apple Pay or Google Wallet, Google Pay, then it doesn't matter. Your Curve card supports it. If you've got some obscure bank card that doesn't like working with Apple Pay, then it doesn't matter. Your Curve card will work with it. So yeah, that is it in a nutshell, really. You can have all of the cards in your wallet transformed just into one card. Well, you know, slip away in your back pocket and uh, you're ready to go. It's just so simple and it just works. I love it. It's, it's just it's just great. I really do love it. And so if you want one and you want five pounds free, then uh, yeah, just sign up with the link just there or in the description. And uh, once you get your card and I think I've spent 20 pounds on it, you'll get five pounds in your curve cash ready to spend on whatever the hell you like. And just a sort of bit of housekeeping, I do get a small financial kickback myself if you register using that link. So, you know, I'm being transparent and honest about that. Don't sue me. Why would you sue me? Anyway, that is it for this vlog on the curve card. If it's been helpful, then give it a thumbs up. If it's not been helpful, give it a thumbs down. Or, you know, just don't, it's fine. <laughs> and if you like this video and you want to see more like it then please do subscribe and whack the bell to get all the notifications and you can see my ugly mug whenever I put a video up live. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh no, that's not it. You can join this channel as well. And if you join the channel at the $4.99 and above tier, you get to see all of these videos first as well as bonus content, shout outs and all that stuff. Just click the join button below and a whole new world of fun will be open to you. Well, you know, as much fun as vlogs and stuff can be. Anyway, that's enough nonsense from me. If you've got any questions about the Curve Card, then please do drop a comment and I'll uh, try my best to answer it. But that's it from me. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya.